I had a tough asthma attack that landed me in the hospital. They gave me something that reminded me of the anesthesia I had for two surgeries later in life. It helped me breathe, but it made me tired and eventually I fell asleep and stopped breathing. During that time, I had a strange experience. It felt like I was dreaming about seeing someone in a bed surrounded by doctors, but there was also a physical sensation that was hard to explain. It troubled me, and I couldn't wake up from this dream. At first, I didn't realize that I was looking down at my own body. I could see my mother in the corner of the room and started to worry about her. That's when I realized this wasn't a dream, and all I wanted was to go back home. The next thing I knew, it was nighttime and I found myself outside the house, looking in through the kitchen window. I couldn't get inside, and I couldn't get my family's attention. It was a horrifying feeling, and some time passed. I wandered around in the dark and eventually came across other confused people who were in a similar situation. It's hard to explain, but we didn't really have physical bodies. We formed a group, but we couldn't see each other. It was like being in a room with the lights turned off, knowing that we were all still there. That's the best way I can describe it. Some more time passed, but I was determined to find a way out for all of us, even though I had no idea where we were. From that point on, things became non-linear. I remember bits and pieces, but it's as if everything happened all at once. Time didn't seem to exist anymore. People have asked me if I saw a tunnel, but I can't say I did exactly. There was a light, somewhat dim and distant. As it got closer and brighter, I felt an overwhelming love that brings tears to my eyes as I write this. I desperately wanted to go back and bring everyone else to this place. But I didn't have control over it. Although this place felt incredible, I was more like a passenger on a journey. It's hard to find the right words to accurately describe it. The light was filled with love and understanding. It was beyond me, within me, and all around me. It felt like home. Since then, I've never experienced a love like that, although there have been brief moments of kindness and acceptance that I cherish. It's difficult to see the computer screen through the tears in my eyes. I wish I could use all my strength to bring those people from the darkness here, but I just don't know how. It's difficult for me to put into words what happened next. I experienced something inside me, as if another presence was speaking in a strange language, yet I understood it as a recounting of this and past lives, almost like an introduction to someone else. I went through a life review where I relived certain moments of my life up until that point. It was a profound experience where I could vividly feel not only my own emotions, but also how others felt through my actions, words and thoughts. It was a humbling experience, realizing moments where I could have acted differently, made better choices and not let my emotions take control. Despite this experience, I feel concerned about what the next life will be like because even though I'm more aware of how I impact those around me, I still get emotional, make mistakes, and I'm fully aware that this experience hasn't made me perfect. If anything, it has made me more aware of my imperfections and I recognize that being mindful requires constant effort and attention. At a certain point, I encountered someone who appeared to be there to help me decide whether I should return to this life or start anew in another. I would call this person my guide, and although I couldn't perceive their physical presence, I sensed a feminine energy from them. I desired to learn more about them and the place I was in, but it became clear that this experience wasn't about them. It felt more like visiting a guidance counselor. Despite being young, I had a strong emotional connection to the people in this life. The idea of starting over without knowing what it would be like was difficult for me to accept. I was shown glimpses of my future in this life, as if I approached a screen and suddenly found myself experiencing those moments. It felt like I was truly there, feeling how I would feel at that time. Although I was shown parts of my future, you might think that would make me capable of predicting the future, but it could be due to my difficulty in processing detailed information. I tend to focus on the bigger picture rather than the specifics. However, in that place, there was a clarity that doesn't seem to exist for me here. I could understand so much more effortlessly than I can in this realm. While I do have occasional intuitive feelings about people and things here, it's not quite the same as what I remember feeling there. After this near-death experience, when certain moments unfold in my life, there is sometimes a sense of familiarity even with people I haven't met before. The things I was shown were more like moments of choice when the options were limited. 
At the time of those choices, there was a simple feeling of, this feels right, this feels like the right thing to do. Along with that feeling came a sense of peace and calm. I was informed that if I were to continue in this life, it would be unlikely for me to reach my full potential. However, it was evident that starting over was uncertain, and I wasn't shown any specific details about that path. I remember encountering other individuals who seemed to have lived here and were there to assist me in making a decision. I was shown aspects of my future that I don't feel comfortable sharing here, as some of them were embarrassing. There was a complete and absolute clarity in that realm, unrelated to my sense of self or ego, but deeply connected to what I came into this life to accomplish, learn, experience and grow. I realize that space is running out here, so I'll keep it brief. When I returned to my body, I deeply missed that place, and I still think about it to this day. We are here to evolve as spiritual beings and to undergo certain experiences. I remember things from before and during my birth. I recall choosing my parents based on their personalities and kindness. On some level, I believe I chose to have asthma to prevent myself from repeating the mistakes of a past life. It's possible that I chose my near-death experience to keep myself aware of the purpose behind my existence. Thank you, Jeff, for sharing your incredible journey with us. Your story serves as a reminder that each of us is on a unique path of self-discovery, and by sharing our experiences, we have the power to inspire and uplift others. Stay tuned for more thought-provoking discussions and captivating tales that will continue to expand our understanding of the world around us. May you find peace, enlightenment, and fulfillment on your own journey. Sir, so remember to live long and live strong. And I look forward to seeing you in our next video.